While each of these areas is important to the central work of the university, the core mission of Fresno State, none is as critical as teaching. It is an honor for me to introduce this year's Provost Award winner for Overall Excellence in Teaching, Dr. Thomas Lowenheim, Professor of Music. Dr. Lowenheim is a teacher, mentor, and innovator who inspires and challenges his students to exciting levels of achievement. He has brought important national and international recognition to Fresno State, creating unparalleled educational opportunities for students. Described as a modern Renaissance man, he is a unique musician who has toured internationally and whose work is broadcast worldwide. He hosts the annual International Cello Festival at Fresno State, where world-renowned cellists offer master classes for our students and they perform for the university and other orchestras. He is also the director and conductor of the youth orchestras of Fresno. Dr. Lowenheim has cultivated relations with major donors, resulting in scholarship endowments for the department's string and orchestra programs, and funding for concert hall renovations. He truly represents the best of the faculty and what we as an engaged university offers. It is my sheer delight to present to you Professor Thomas Lowenheim, recipient of this year's Provost Award for Excellence in Teaching. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you Provost Zelezny and President Castro for this distinguished honor. But even more so, thank you for your continuous encouragement and support of all the ideas I brought in front of you over the past years. I would also like to thank our current Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities, Dr. Saul Jimenez Sandoval, as well as our past deans and all associate deans for their ongoing support and help with all the concerts, cello festivals, orchestra academies, and for supporting my vision of engaging our community through music at Fresno State. But above all, I would like to recognize my colleagues at the Department of Music, who gave me the unique opportunity to come to Fresno and build and conduct the Fresno State Symphony Orchestra. The success of the orchestra is a testimony of their continuous excellence and hard work with our students and I'm very humbled to have the opportunity to combine all their efforts into this musical group. People ask me why I work so hard all the time, why I dedicate so much time and energy into teaching and conducting. My answer has always been world peace. When my students hear me say that for the first time, they all laugh. But by now, after many years in which they've witnessed the power that music has to bring people together, they became more convinced that I'm quite serious about it. Many believe that music is the highest form of expression, an international language that has the ability to break many barriers and thus has the ability to bring people together. I witness this on a daily basis and making music has become something I cannot live without. But music and the skill it requires to be performed on the highest level are representative of all skills taught at a university in order for a person to have a successful career. Discipline, mental, physical, and emotional control, eye-hand coordination, memorization, the ability to perform in front of a large audience, creativity, and the ability to work with others to achieve a common goal are all skills that will accompany you in your lives, no matter what profession you will choose. I view an orchestra as a model of society. For an orchestra to be successful, each member has to be responsible for their own actions. Then they have to learn to become a member of their own section, similar to being a citizen of a city. Then be a part of an instrumental group such as the strings, winds, brass and percussion representing their country. And ultimately, recognize how all of the above fit in with the entire orchestra, the world. Today is a special day of celebration. All of you have accomplished an important milestone in your careers, and you should all take the time to recognize that. 
But as my teacher and mentor, Professor Janos Starker, kept telling us, the smart ones do not celebrate very long. They immediately turn around and keep working towards the next goal and keep improving and aiming towards the next level. Viktor Frankl, in his book, The Meaning of Life, reminds us that we should not concentrate on what, ex on what we expect from life, but rather on what life expects from us, and that one can only answer to life by answering through their own life. To life, we can only respond by being responsible. We have to strive for self-fulfillment, on one hand, allowing each individual to find their own path and meaning in life. On the other hand, educate and detect the link attaching people together, thus building up a humane, harmonious, peaceful, better world to live in. I would like to ask each and every one of you to take a moment, close your eyes, and think where you would like to be in the next 10, 20, 30 years. Imagine what will be your contribution to this world and what will be your dream to fulfill. Now I ask you all to open your eyes and start envisioning the route to make it happen. Good luck. <laughs>